You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Well, the Kentucky softball team is going dancing, and for the fifth year in a row, the Cats did well enough in the regular season to be selected to host a regional for the NCAA softball tournament, earning the number 14 overall seed in the process. Anna talked with head coach Rachel Lawson to preview the postseason. First of all, congrats on the 14 seed. You also found out last night that Kentucky will be hosting a regional for the fifth straight tournament. How big is that for your team to play host? Oh, it, it's awesome to be able to have it um, in front of our fan base again is great. I know they've given us a big boost in the past, so we're really, really excited to have that again. And Northwestern, your opponent for Friday's first round, what do they bring to the table? Well, they bring a lot. You know, they're probably the best number four seed in the history of the softball tournament. So they have great pitching. They have, you know, a very seasoned offense, a very good, good defensive team. So I think it's going to be a great game. Awesome. You've won seven of your last eight games, including five against teams in the NCAA tournament field. How does that leave you feeling ahead of the tournament? I think it gives the team a ton of confidence going in, knowing that we've beaten so many national seeds and we've beaten so many good teams. Plus, having faced the pitching that we've faced, I think that, um, you know, I think that believe our offense believes that gives us the leg up. Yeah. How has the play of Kayla Kowalik, who leads the nation in batting average, been instrumental to leading the team to the postseason? Well, I know she's excited about it. She's been playing hard all year, and, and she's been pushing, pushing, pushing the team for this very moment. So I know that she's ready to play, and, and she's, you know, she's going to be a tough one to get out for sure. And same with Erin Koffel, a finalist for Shoot Sports National Freshman of the Year. How is she feeling ahead of her first NCAA tournament run? I don't think she knows how she's feeling, honestly, because it's her first time. I, I'm sure she's incredibly excited. She's such a winner, and she's been in big games. So uh, it just being another big game for her, but I know she's probably curious to see what, you know, this, what all the hoopla is about. And I know she's excited to get on the field against Northwestern. Now, obviously COVID-19 a year ago canceled the NCAA tournament. How does that make preparing for this year's tournament feel different? Oh, you know, I think there was more of an excitement to the selection show because it, it was so new for so many people and it, you didn't know, you know, we, we knew we were in a decent position to host, but you never know and you don't want to take anything for granted. So when our name came up on the board and we knew we were hosting, I just saw this just like they looked like little kids at Christmas. They were just so excited to be out there. And, you know, it's been so long um, and we've worked so hard to get to this point. So I think it just added to the excitement of it all. Fifth year pitcher Autumn Humes has had an outstanding season. Now she's preparing for her last few games in a Kentucky uniform. What's your message to Autumn? You know, Autumn is, you know, she's so successful and she's accomplished so many things in her life. And, and now everything that she does is just adding to her legacy. I mean, she's 20 game winner. She's been so important to us. And I think she's just going out there free and competing um, because, you know, this when it's your last hurrah, you can go one or two directions. And I think she's just really making the most of it and enjoying it and going out there and leaving it all out in the field. What's practice looking like this week? What are you working on and what's the mood around the team? Well, it's hard to keep the team focused because they keep talking about the game they're going to play or the games they just played in front of, you know, a great crowd out in Tuscaloosa and stuff. But, you know, you always focus on defense and just like ping them really quick with fundamentals and stuff. But I'm telling you, to keep them dialed in and to keep their energy kind of calm is, is um, a bit of a challenge, but it's a nice challenge. I got to be honest with you. All right. And why should Big Blue Nation, why do they need to get out and get in those seats at John Crobb Stadium for Friday's noon game against Northwestern? Well, for us, I think one of the reasons we've been so successful in all of our previous uh, regionals is because the Big Blue Nation comes out, they, they give us a huge energy boost, and, and because of that, we've put up a lot of runs. But also, I think they make the other team nervous. So they truly are a weapon um, when we have everybody back in the seat. So, you know, I'm really hoping that the B BBN shows up and, and helps give us that leg up that we'll need to advance. Heck yeah, we love it. Congrats, Coach, and good luck on Friday. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, get out there and fill the seats. All session tickets for the Lexington Regional went on sale this morning at 9 a.m. Head to UKAthletics.com slash tickets now to get yours. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we're talking basketball with the voice of the Wildcats, Tom Leach. We'll be right back.